So I don't think of myself as uh, as the most sophisticated man. Uh, in short, me kind of dumb guy. Uh, but the point is, even a mouth breather such as myself can set up the right PC to play nice with the Xbox 360. Here's how I did it. Uh, I started with a PC running Windows Vista Home Premium, my Xbox, and a certified high-speed router, which is, lucky me, exactly what you need. So step one, I connect my Xbox to my home network, installing the Ethernet cable into ye old 360. Oh, uh, yeah, Microsoft would like me to clarify that. The Xbox 360 is neither old uh, nor, nor uh, a box. It is the best in next generation gaming and entertainment. Hmm, nice, nicely worded. Okay, uh, moving on, step two. Using the controller or the handy dandy universal media remote, I select the media tab option on my Xbox menu and select media center. I get my setup key code and write it down on a piece of paper. So, you see, it's, it's pretty much exactly like playing a game on the Xbox. Uh, except, well, okay, it's, it's not really anything like playing a game, but once you're done, everyone's a winner, right? Sure. Uh, okay, so next it's PC time. That's the final step. With my eight-digit code in hand, I select Windows Media Center from my Start menu. From the Windows Media Center menu, I select Tasks, and then select Add Extender. This will start the process that will require that eight-digit startup key. Enter that, and bingo, you're set. You now have music, television, home video, pictures, even HD video, all from your PC to your entertainment center you have opened up a whole new world of wasting massive amounts of time. Trust me, I finished setting mine up at 1 o'clock, and it is now Thursday. Hey!